back to the Stephen Knight Show again. We're all over social media. Go to our YouTube channel and subscribe, like, comment, and share. We definitely appreciate your support. All right, well, Portia Williams, and, you know, she, it's, she's been in the headlines lately because she's engaged to Simon. I'm going to try his last name. Gu Bad Badia. Anyway, as you remember, um, he, she was brought on, she brought Fallon on the show last season, Housewives, as her friend. And um, he was married, she was married to Simon. Now Portia and him are engaged. And they've been flaunting it all over social media. Well, it turns out Fallon last Thursday, she hadn't said much about it. She just thanked everyone for their support. And she said she's going to focus on finalizing the divorce and her family because you know she has like five kids well on thursday she shared an upcoming that she's doing an upcoming tell-all interview this thursday this thursday june 10th um in the clip an emotional fallon is seen sitting across from adam newell and she's at she was asked about whether she had cheated on simon she also asked if she had a resentment for being friendly with portia on real housewives of atlanta um now that portia is engaged to her soon to be ex-husband if you remember, Portia met Simon at their house. Uh, she was in the pool, smoking hookah, in the house for the Halloween party. But anyway, the trailer, you, you can hear Fallon saying things like, Simon doesn't get caught unless Simon wants to be caught. And she said that I meant what I said when I took my vows. Um, she also um, confessed that she feels really hurt. Now, Simon kind of um, made it seem like Fallon had been having an affair with a friend of theirs. It was a younger guy. Um, but the guy came out and said that they were only just friends. Uh, he also said this, that Fallon was pregnant by the by the um, young man. He said they're only just friends. Simon knows that and knows she's not pregnant. So people are thinking, are we going to learn anything new on this interview? Or do you think just her chance to clear the air for herself, Chica? Probably a chance for her to clear the air for herself. I mean, at this point, these people are brands um, on their own. And she has to continue. How else is she going to continue? She has to find a way. If her camp is smart, she has to find a way to take the storyline and spin it so she can continue to be Fallon. So I'm sure she's going to go full on disclosure and try to find a way to spin it so she can have life after. Yeah. Um, do you think... Um Bravo will take advantage of this um, situation and keep Fallon on the show, even though she's no longer a friend of the show. What do you think, uh, Lania? Um, They're going to try to milk it for whatever it's worth. And I mean, her coming out now, that's definitely part publicity stunt, part, like she said, to, to make sure her brand stays intact and it was so dramatic like really girl it was like so dramatic with the with the uh the uh preview like are you serious if anything you know how i would take you seriously if she went on red table talk because then i know she would get asked some real questions because right now red table talk is the thing to go to when you yeah. want some real some real live questions asked um and hopefully get a real live answer um, and you yeah, know, just I think that is definitely just part of part of the game that they play in this reality TV world, um, where you know she, you know, her team got together. Girl, you gonna have to. We gotta get you to. We gotta get you as the victim. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to. We gotta. We gotta get in front of this. So, yeah, it was funny when Wendy Williams was asked this morning, "How come she didn't do a bigger show like even Wendy Williams show?" You know, she said. uh she said nothing against the other guy, you know. I mean, he's a YouTuber, um, but you know, if she really wanted to get it out there, out there, she would have. Yeah, exactly. If she would have. Exactly. She, if she really wanted to get it out there, she would have came on the Stephen Knight show. Stop playing. Hello, hello. Just saying. Hello. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens on Thursday. All right. Well, the internet ran uproar um, following the Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather fight. And it seems like everyone had their own opinions, but it highly await about the high weighted match. But celebrities like Portia Williams and her fiance Simon were there, Moneybag Yo was there, and others attend to seem to be having fun watching the match. However, Blueface didn't have the same sentiments, sentiments as the other celebrities. Now, while inside the arena, he shared the majority of the fight on the gram, and uh, the rapper was very vocal how 
he wasn't pleased with the outcome. Now he was sitting beside Akon and um, he was saying that he, he said, I'm mad as F. I spent 100, I put 12,000 for this sh never again. And he uh, put the camera on Akon and he said, was this worth, this the worst fight ever or what? Akon um, questioned him and responded the worst and he kept pushing, seemed like he really didn't want to be on camera talking about it. But um, yeah, we don't know how many people watched the fight, but apparently it was something big over the weekend. Have you ever been to like an overly hyped event and disappointed? Yeah. Uh, who, who, who did you say, me? Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, and for that reason, I would have never attended anything like that, especially when they market it as an exhibition fight. I'm not going to that. Mm -hmm. um, and because it, it, it would turn out just the way that it turned out. How are you going to have a fight and you don't announce the winner? What? Yeah. No, we're not doing that. Um, real fights are really, um, it's high energy. It's since I'm, Linnea's been to a couple matches with me. You know how it is, Linnea. It's high energy. It's exciting. It gets, you're, you get involved in the fight. Not necessarily getting involved in the fight, but the energy part mm -hmm. of it. You get involved in it, and it becomes very exciting and adrenaline filled. This was almost like we're going in the ring. We're going to play around for these bucks, entertain these people. It's like WWE. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have At no least interest. With in that, you get higher energy. Right, <laughs> exactly. You get a performance. What are your thoughts and on that? Is, I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a Floyd Mayweather fan. And I have no clue who Paul Logan is, mm -hmm. uh, Logan Paul, mm -hmm. Mountain Paul, John Paul. I don't know who he is. <laughs> right. But, uh, you know, I, I, I could could care less. And, um, you know, I, I, I just don't, you know, I mean, it's better than elegant chicken, I guess. I mean, you know, it's a fight. Right, you know, right. I mean, it, was, it was a fight. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you know, not, I don't know. It's kind of like when Mike Tyson had that fight, the celebrity fight, and they had the a tie. Roy. Yeah, it was like yeah. a tie. Like, I have a tie. Mike, listen, I love both of them. Yeah. Roy was scared Mike, Mike was going to hurt him because Mike, Mike was treating it like it was yes. a real thing. Uh huh. Mike, yeah, yeah. He really and he was. eating them shrooms too. He said he eats shrooms. So shrooms. he was he was already in, he already centered his cheek. Uh huh. <laughs> so he would have been ready. He was ready. <laughs> he was ready. Well, this last story I think is completely stupid, but I will record it. So, um, you know, Beyonce and Solange, they rarely address anything online when people have these accusations about them. Well, Jay-Z and Beyonce went to the Brooklyn Nets game recently. And people noticed that Jay-Z was rubbing on Beyonce's leg like he always does. So... The grand, a lot of people on the gram were saying that Beyonce was having, has public anxiety, and that's why Jay Z was rubbing her leg. Well, Tina knows shared a collage of video of her daughter and Jay Z, uh, where he's rubbed her leg on many occasions, and he said that y'all are taking something pretty much that is something sweet and making it into something bad. She does not have anxiety, and um, that's just their love language. He, Jay Z, he's a toucher. And she also mentioned that if you do, a person does have anxiety, it's great that their partner is helping them by reassuring them and touching them or whatever. And she said that's what her and her husband do all the time. That's just how they connect. And she said, y'all should try it sometimes. Do you think people do the most online just accusing everyone of anything, Linnea? Or do you think Beyonce may have social anxiety? You know how I many times I touch on I touch on Chica Evans. Right. Like, like, and not like that, y'all. Right. Like, I put my bare terrorize them. But right. <laughs> if, you, if that's the case, I, I hate people. <laughs> I really do. The internet needs to chill the right. hell out. I swear to God, like, he, it's a husband and a wife. They're at a game. They might still a touch or, you know, that, you know, these people ain't never had hugs before. They ain't right. never been loved on property. Uh, if they don't understand, that's normal. That oh, I'm sorry, y'all used to these hit a hit a hole upside a head, a drop kicker, and let me let me throw it against the wall. You ain't used yeah. to nobody really giving you, you know, some real live connection and human contact. I apologize. 
Ugh. Yeah. She gay. <laughs> so since Lania brought it up, um, if I sit to the right of her in any situation, I might get hit in the face with hair. Because you know she she does the flingy thing. So I have to make sure I sit on the left so I don't get the get the slap with the hair. I don't I don't know if that's any type of love language or anything, but you know, I gotta, you know. Right, duh. Dodge it. But um I think that of course Jay-Z and Beyonce are are, are you know a super couple. And people want to be involved in their lives any way that they can possibly be involved in their lives. And they're going to create whatever they can create to have an end because Beyonce and Jay-Z have worked very hard to keep their much public relationship very private. So people are going to find whatever it is that they can find to have an end to it. Um, And also, might I add, and I was just having this conversation this weekend with someone and in general, I'm not saying everyone, but in general, especially with the newer generation, they don't really do affection. They don't do affection. They don't do emotion. They don't do the touchy feely kissy public displays of affection. They don't really do that. And that type of stuff doesn't have as much weight with them as it does with the older generations and like walking down the street, holding hands or um, rubbing someone's back or just the little gentle things to let someone know that you're caring for them in their space. So mm-hmm. stop exaggerating, y'all. Calm down. Right. And I'm, I mean, not sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not your bro. I'm not your bro. Don't you call me bro. Beyonce is one of the people. Right, bro. <laughs> Beyonce is one of the people that performed in front of tens of thousands of people. If she had social anxiety, she didn't have to go to the game. You know what I mean? It's, I know it's, it's one thing when you're doing your job performing, and, and but you don't have to go to the game. So if she did that, she would have been at home. Also, Listen, I, I she could have just turned into Sasha Fierce then. She could have right. just turned into the other person that came to the game. But you know, this reminds me of the time. Remember, remember that story where it was um, she and Jay Z, and there was a woman that was sitting on the other side of her or something. She was asking Jay Z if he yes. wanted a drink, and yes. they made it seem like that this woman was trying to flirt with Jay Z, and, mm-hmm. and the woman was like, "I was literally just asking if he wanted to get drink. I was about to get drinks for all of us." I mean, it's like, people, calm down. Let these people live their lives. Let them live their lives. Mm. Well, listen, thank you for High Times. Lania, congratulations again on hitting your goal. I know that was a huge accomplishment. Chike, I know you're still living the birthday. You know, you've done it. You hit this milestone. But I'll see you in movie reviews. And Lania, I'll see you next Monday. And we will be right back with our interview with the cast of Is Variety. Right back after this.